Hello, my name is Erica Damel, and the disease that I'm doing my disease report on is mononucleosis, which is also known as the kissing disease, or it's simply shortened to the term mono. It's also referred to sometimes as the Epstein-Barr virus. Mononucleosis can actually be caused by several viruses, including HIV and a virus that is also in the herpes family. Um, and, but, however, Epstein-Barr virus is the most common causative agent for it. Epstein-Barr virus is part of the herpes family, and it is a double-stranded DNA virus, which is enveloped, and it, in it causes a latent infection. It infects naive B cells, so this is B cells before they fully matured. And what happens is these B cells continue on through their um, maturation process. And during this time, most of some of them may present and express viral proteins, but most of them, about a good number of them also do not. It's not clear why some do and some don't express viral protein. Um, but it isn't until they've differentiated into plasma cells when they lice normally. Mononucleosis is asymptomatic in infants and small children. This is up for a little bit of a debate. Um, some people believe that it isn't truly asymptomatic in infants and small children, but rather that they just so show very mild symptoms, so it appears like they just have a mild cold. And so most of the time, parents would not take them to the doctor, and so it's not, or if they do, it's just assumed to be a cold, and so it's not detected as the Epstein-Barr virus infection. However, when primary infection of the Epstein-Barr virus occurs in adolescence, um, over half of the um, people who are infected with it at adolescence or older um, cause, have infectious mononucleosis at that point in time. The Epstein-Barr virus is found in all populations throughout the world. Um, there's no place where there are humans where Epstein-Barr virus is not in existence. And um, there are subtypes of Epstein-Barr virus that vary very slightly on what glycoprotein is displayed on the envelope of it. Um, there's one type that's more prevalent in most areas, but the second type is more prevalent in places like Central Africa, Papua New Guinea, and Alaska, um, but both types are pretty well spread out throughout the entire world. Um, and mononucleosis is generally transmitted through bodily fluids, especially saliva. What happens is when the, um, the epithelial cells in the mouth are shed, it then gets in touch with the saliva, and then the virus is present in those, and then it then spreads um, from saliva from one person to the other through kissing, hence the kissing disease, also through sharing of utensils or drinks. Um, mononucleosis has an incubation period of about four to seven weeks. Um, this is once again because of it being a latent um, infection. And it causes extreme fatigue, which is one of the hallmarks of mononucleosis. Um, it's what sets it apart from when people get it from mistaking it from just as a cold because of how extreme the fatigue is. It also causes fever, sore throat, head and body aches, swollen lymph nodes in the neck and armpits, and a swollen liver or spleen, and sometimes both. And in some patients, um, a rash occurs, but it's not... Um, in the majority of patients. Here you can see some images of some of the symptoms of mononucleosis. You can see a patient with very enlarged tonsils and that's um, from, and you can also see a patient with enlarged lymph glands. Um, these enlargements are due to the um, production of more immune cells and so the tissue becomes large because there are that many immune cells being produced. And then um, the spleen, the spleen also becomes swollen, and this is also, the spleen also becomes swollen. Some complications which are associated with mononucleosis are the rupture of the spleen because it becomes so enlarged, it causes, it can, cause, it can become ruptured um, through injury or um, strenuous activity even. Uh, mon the Epstein-Barr virus can cause many different complications um, and other issue 
health issues. Aside from the ones I've listed here, these are just the ones I found the most interesting. In cause Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a syndrome which where your immune system begins attacking your nerve cells, um, which is pretty nasty. Sounds pretty nasty. And most individuals, um, this ends after um, a certain period of time, but some have permanent nerve damage as a result of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Others can get viral meningitis, and Epstein-Barr virus is an oncovirus, meaning that when its DNA gets integrated into the hosts, it causes the expression of certain proteins or amplification of expression, or um, which can lead to cancer, whether it be the amplification of growth proteins or amplification of proteins in a way, or expression proteins which would decrease the cell's ability to respond to signaling about growth, um, it leads to, it can lead to cancer. And actually, um, Epstein-Barr virus leading to Burkitt's lymphoma was the first um, case where it was discovered, where an oncovirus which infects human was discovered. Um, it can also cause nasopharyngeal carcinoma, Hodgkin's disease, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And the most severe complication, of course, is um, death. However, mononucleosis generally does not occur uh, with mononucleosis generally does not have death unless the patient has a very weakened immune system. And it's a um, part of the reason for this is because um, if the patient already has a weakened immune response and then the infection infects B cells, which are part of your immune response, it's going to be pretty difficult for them to be able to put up um, a good enough fight um, against this disease. But in addition to death, people with weakened immune systems, if they do not die from it, they generally have the infection for longer periods of time than the general popu healthy population. Prognosis for mononucleosis um, is that the fever generally drops within about 10 days. The swollen lymph glands and spleen heal in about four weeks, and the tiredness may go away within a few weeks, but in some patients who are healthy, um, other than having mononucleosis, um, the tiredness may linger for two to three months um, at most. Treatment for mononucleosis. Um, there's no current vaccine in use for Epstein-Barr virus. And so patients generally are just told to drink plenty of fluids and stay hydrated, get plenty of rest to help take care of all of the fatigue, which is caused by mononucleosis, um, to take over-the-counter medications for pain and fever if needed, and to, very stressed, avoid playing contact sports or strenuous activity. And this is because um, when you play, when if you um, have enough force applied to your enlarged spleen and a rupture, and that creates a whole slew of different problems other than just um, the sore throat, headache, body aches, etc. that comes along with mono.